All I have in this world is my balls and my word. And I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? G'day legends, Chaos Chronicles. All right, we're back with another video. And as promised, I was going to do a video on why generally people don't want to mess with the careers. So if you guys have checked out like my other videos I've done like this, so why people generally don't want to mess with the Asians or why people generally don't want to mess with um, the Lebos or the Muslim population. So I've had a lot of people ask me to do a video like that on the careers here in Victoria. So... All right, let's get into it. So I guess, you know, like the other races and or the other crews or whatever, so the Kuris, um are, are one to be, you know, to, to, to look out for if you had dramas with them. And I think more so than any of the other crews that, that I spoke about, that the Kuris have this uncanny ability of rallying up the troops quicker than any other race that I've spoke about. And, um, you know, generally, generally, like if, if, if I think if I had some kind of a graph to work it out, I would think that, you know, the Kuris probably hold the most numbers out of all them races or crews or whatever you want to call them in prison. So, um, you know, they probably hold the most numbers. Now, don't get me wrong, the Asians and the, the Lebos or the Muslims or whatnot would be very, very, very close behind them. And um, I guess I think the thing is, though, like with the Kuris, and I need to be straight up because I've seen this with my own two eyes and 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 I literally like, you know, I have a lot of Kuri mates in prison and, um, yeah, like I, I've seen this with my own two eyes and, and I have to I have to say something about it because I think it's absolutely putrid. Now, as you guys could probably imagine, the racism with the officers in prison is absolutely out of fucking control. And, you know, the, the Kuris I have witnessed with my own eyes get, you know, the racist treatment a lot worse than anyone else. And and for this, you will find that a lot of the the Kuris or, you know, the, the, the Aboriginal, um, you know, because not all of them are Kuris, some of them are from different parts of the country, but the Aboriginal um, culture, um, they are generally very, very angry because of this. Now, um, I don't blame the, these people for being as angry as they are because of the way that they are treated. Now, they are definitely treated a lot worse than any other race and, and um, you know, like literally treated like they are less people, less than um, – other races and I think it's absolutely disgusting it's 2024 and I think that if you know officers of the law like let's face it even though they are prison officers they're still officers of the law can have this type of like racial hatred working in a place like that because let me tell you right now I can I have seen with my own two eyes these lads having you know taken too much of this shit and just saying, you know what, I am going to take that screw out today. I'm sick of that racist prick. And then next thing you know, that that screw is wearing a shank sandwich, and um, and and probably not coming into work anymore. But definitely not coming to work in that unit anymore. And and you know, for that fact alone, like you know, when a crew is ready to take out the officers, and don't get me wrong, most of them are. You definitely know that you have to be wary of where you are. Because, like, yeah, that's just absolutely crazy. But I'm going to use a couple of – so also as well, so the the, the Kuris um, get the best art supplies in our prison system, and rightly so, I believe. And, um, you know, the, the art supplies are absolutely crazy. So a lot of people, you know, make their tattoo ink from some art supplies – and um, you know that the the curry art supplies are no different. So, um, but they also get some pretty hectic paint brushes that, as you could probably imagine, would make um, some 
not deadly weapons. I won't say deadly because, like, although they are, there are some pretty thick paintbrushes, like I'll say as thick as my thumb, it's still wood and it will still snap if you stab someone with it. So a kitchen knife, a butter knife, I've seen both of those things snapped while whilst getting put into somebody, you know. So a piece of wood is going to do the exact same thing. So for that fact alone, most of them, every single one of them actually has all of those in their cell and and a pencil sharpener. That's all I'll say. Use your imagination. And um, so, you know, but I'm, I'm going to say another story about um, – about, the way things were at Barwon for a bit. So like at Barwon, you can play football. At Barwon, you can play cricket. So they have like competitions, um, you know, um, people make their own team. So back in the day, now I'm not going to say it was a racially segregated football game, but that's definitely how it was played. So you would have like the the Currys on one side and then you would have other races on one side. And it is a well-known fact that these crews had bad priors for taking big ass shanks out there on the footy field, you know, and um, like I could seriously like go into countless amounts of stories about why they are so crazy, but like I could literally do that about every single race in prison. But like I think when it comes down to this is why I think that they are probably one of the most solidest races. So they all stick together 100%. They keep all their infighting or whatever in-house. You don't really see Currys punching on with Currys. But whereas if other races kind of step out of line, you will sometimes see them, you know, regulate their own race or whatnot. So they are pretty solid. You won't see them like disrespecting like each other that kind of way in public as much as you would the other races. But, yeah, just the way that, that the Currys stick together. And let's let's face it, you know, the Currys cop a hard time in our country as much as I, I, I would hate to say it. I only say this because this is what I've seen with my own two eyes. And, and I think that it's, you know, it's disgusting that anyone can be that racist in 2024, but that's the way it is. And that's exactly why most of these fellas can fight because they've had to put up with this shit their whole life. And don't get me wrong, I know this is exactly the same for the Asians and I know that this is exactly the same for the for the Lebos. Australia is a very racist country at times and, and for this, you know, it makes people angry. And so when you have people bashing you because you're a certain race or you look a certain way, pretty soon you learn how to fight, you know what I mean? Once you learn that you can take a beating, you will take on the world and believe me, trust me at that. And um, yeah, so I think that, you know, that is why they are one of the most feared crews is because they are always crazily angry and 90% of them can fight very well. 90% of them will give you a shank sandwich if you're hungry and 100% of them will fight you at any time and they will never ever put their other brothers in jeopardy and not fight you in front of other people, do you know what I mean? So, like, if they get called out, you can guarantee it that you're going to see some action from that group of people. But um, all right, guys, there you go. That is why people don't mess with the Kuris. And, uh, yeah, um, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would be really, really appreciative if you could subscribe to my channel. It's somewhere up here. And if you hit that little bell button, you'll get a notification every single time I do a video. That way you'll never miss any of my clips. And uh, yeah, guys, don't do drugs and crime and you won't have to end up in jail to put up with this bullshit. It's a pretty, pretty serious world that it doesn't matter how much I can tell you everything I know about prison, nothing is going to prepare you for the moment you walk through them doors for your first time and see every single eye looking at you like you are a piece of meat that they want to eat and that's basically the truth about it every single one of them is thinking how they can you know take something of you what have you got that they want you know what can I have them shoes? What toiletries have you got? Did you kick any drugs in? Like I can tell you, this is all the bullshit that you will have to go through when you go to prison. And you do not want to go there. I can tell you right now, like right now, 
today, how this is right now, is probably more scarier and more dangerous than like this is a big, big call. But because of how messed up it is with the drugs and how there is no order, I will even go as far as to say as our prison system right now is more dangerous than it was back in the Pentridge days simply for the fact that there is no order and there's people just running around stabbing each other willy-nilly killing each other it's absolutely bonkers and believe me for that reason that is why you don't want to be there all right guys i've been the cast chronicles i am also yeah. the guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not